Where is Fabian Hallin? Have Fabian Hallin said goodbye to West Indies cricket? Hello, everyone. This is the Cricket Forum, your place for the latest news, views, rumors, and gossips in the world of cricket. Welcome to the show. Please slash a like on the video, share, please share the video and subscribe. Click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Now, Fabian Hallin have not represented the West Indies since February 11. Fabian Hallin declined a West Indies retainer contract. He was not selected for the World Cup and he's not in the Jamaica Scorpion team presently playing in the regional Super 50 tournament. Where is Fabian Hallin? This 27-year-old West Indies all-rounder have seemed to have disappeared. Have he said goodbye to cricket? Or is just another young man that needs help? Is it a case that another young man with tremendous talent who can make a big contribution to West Indies cricket slipping through the cracks? Where are the gaps? What is the story? What is Fabian's story? On February 11 this year, Fabian played his last match for West Indies against India in India. That was the last time he represented the West Indies. He came back to the Caribbean. He did not play in the regional four-day cricket for the Scorpions, although he was available. Later, we found out that his father died, and so sympathy must go out to him in that regard. There's no doubt about it. When you lose someone in your family, especially a parent, and if you are close to that parent, it can affect you. So we learn between February and the CPL, we learn that he had took time off from cricket because of his, the death of his father and apparently other personal things. Johnny Greaves, the CEO of West Indies Cricket, who should be fired, and that is for another video. Johnny Greaves should go. He should go, he should come out of our cricket. But at that time, Johnny Greaves said that Cricket West Indies is giving Fabian Hallin whatsoever support that is required at this time. And they understand his decision to give Cricket a break due to the personal challenges that was taking place in his life at that time. We saw Fabian came back for the CPL and he played for the Jamaica Tallowers. He moved from the team in Antigua. So he moved from the Antigua Nevis Patriot to represent his own franchise, Jamaica, and was very instrumental in the finals of the CPL where he took three wickets, including the crucial wickets of Cornwall. Of, and he got Cornwall wicket. He got three wickets, but he took a crucial wicket, not wickets, wicket of Cornwall among those three. I don't remember the other two batsmen that he got out in the finals, but he was very instrumental in the Jamaica Talawas winning the CPL. He was not selected for the World Cup squad because at the time when the World Cup squad was select, being selected, two things were in his favor. He was out of cricket for a while and he was not performing in the CPL at that time. And then Desmond Ain said that they are only going with one left arm spinner to the World Cup, rightly or wrongly. That was a decision. So he understandable, did not select it for the World Cup, and he was very disappointed. But we have not heard anything from Fabian Allen since. Now the Jamaica Scorpion is playing in the regional 50-over cricket competition, and Fabian Allen is not a part of that squad. And then people will come out and say the West Indies selectors are not selecting Fabian Allen. But if Fabian Allen is not playing any cricket, how can the West Indies selectors select him? That being said, however, is this another case where the West Indies is failing to man-manage a, a good talent? Is this another case where some, there are some gaps in the structure of West Indies cricket where it appears that Fabian Allen is just falling through the crack? Or is it 
that Fabian Allen have said goodbye to West Indies cricket? What is the real story? My understanding is that he is now married and living in the United States of America. I was also told from very good source that he was invited to the Jamaican Scorpion squad. He was invited to be a part of the Jamaican Scorpion squad and he declined. He declined to be a part of the squad, preferred to spend time with his wife in the United States. I heard that he bought a house in the United States. Uh, the source, the source told me this, but could not conclusively confirm. Because what the source said is that Fabian said he bought a house in the United States, but there were no independent third party confirmation. I, I, I tried to check and try to dig to see if someone named Fabian Allen owned a house in the United States, but I, I did not get any information. So I'm, I would be, it would be, I would be happy. I would be glad. It would, it would, it would please my heart if he owns a house in the United States. That's very good. One thing about these Jamaican cricketers, and I can tell you, is that house is a big thing for them because Fabian Allen had a bought or built a house for his mother. So his mother has a, his mother, she has a house right now. I know Russell did the same thing. Gail did the same thing. I saw a picture of the house that Odin Simit is building for his mother. So these Jamaican cricketers, they love their house and they see housing as a priority. So I'm very, I would be very happy if it can, if it can be confirmed that Fabian Allen do have a house in the United States. But I can confirm this morning that one, the Jamaican Scorpion have in, had invited Fabian Allen to be a part of the Scorpion squad in the regional Super 50 tournament presently taking place in Antigua and Trinidad and Tobago. I can also confirm that he's presently, he has declined that, he has declined that invitation and he's presently living in the United States with his wife. Whether he's a citizen or not, I do not know. I cannot confirm that information. But I'm saying, have Fabian given up on cricket? He have lost his CPL contract. News came last, not CPL, IPL. News came last week that the Mumbai Indians have released him from his IPL contract. Um, it's, I think it was about 130,000 US dollar contract that he had with the Mumbai Indians and they have released him. So what is really happening with Fabian Allen? Do, does Fabian Allen need help? Do we need to reach out and find Fabian Allen and give him the assistant again? Is it another West Indian cricketer, just like in the case of Hetmeyer, who I really think need help? Is it that we are failing our young cricketers? Is it that we do not have the requisite skills to man-manage these youngsters? Mark here is only 27. And some of us would say that 27 years old over the world are acting more mature and more responsible. But is not everyone that is more is that, that mature and that responsible? The next thing that we have to look at about Fabian Allen, what effect the death of his father is having on him? Is, is, does that have a prolonged effect? Have he been gotten counseling? Have he got counseling? over the death of his father because I do not know how close Fabian was to his father. But if they were very close, because when his father died, he could not play cricket. He affected him badly. So what effect does his father death has on him? Is it time that Cricket West Indies reach out to Fabian Allen? Why he didn't play? Why is he not playing? in the regional Super 50 that is taking place right now. What effect is Father Death of Azanim? He's in, he's in the United States with his wife at this time. We would have preferred if he was in Antigua playing in the regional Super 50 for Jamaica. Not only for Jamaica's sake, but we think that Fabian have a contribution to make to West Indies cricket. And West Indies selectors, 
in all fairness, cannot select him if he's not playing cricket. But what is the real issue here? If someone knows, can they please tell us? Can they please tell us? So that's the situation that I can tell you. One, he was invited to play for the Jamaican Scorpion and he declined. And he's presently in the United States, living in the United States with his wife. Thank you for tuning in. Please slash a like on the video, share and subscribe. And let us try our best to reach out to these young cricketers and see how we can help them because they need the help. We see them as cricketers, as great cricketers on the field of cricket, but we do not know what they are going through in their personal life. Some of these youngsters have great challenges, challenge unimaginable challenges that we would never understand unless we get a gaps of what really affecting them. And maybe, maybe, and maybe it's more than maybe, it is very likely that the death, the death of Fabian Hallin's father is having a lasting effect on him. And it's time that Cricket West Indies stepped in and helped the young man. May God bless you all. Have a wonderful Monday. And I look forward to seeing you later today. Have a great day. Thank you all for tuning in. Please, slash a like on the video, share, and subscribe.